Hey yo YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel for those who don't know me. My name is Jay Chubbs, also go by Chubbs, and today we're here picking up where we left off in Monster Sanctuary. We are kind of in, I think we found a little bit of a side entrance to the next zone for the story, and um, in between episodes I was like, I don't know if we're supposed to be here yet, I'm a little confused. So what I've decided to do was, if we recall after we... Um, we'd have to pan back a couple episodes, but um, I'll, I'll traverse while I talk. So, uh, last episode we finished the Mystical Workshop, FYI, um, as far as we can for right now. So, hello. After we did everything in the Magma Chamber, which I believe we did everything in the Magma Chamber, um, we got a tip about going back to the Blue Caves to use the the sanctuary tokens to open a door that's at the bottom of the caves and yes while we can do that um, I want to pause real quick because I want to oh don't tell me it's not gonna be here now there was stuff that I wanted to do oh I see it I see it there's stuff I want to do now that we can shrink down there's stuff I want to do now that I can shrink down and one of those things is going to be over here. I uh, know that's not the right way. It'll be faster to go this way and swim. So there are going to be some new, acce newly accessible areas now that we can shrink, uh, shrink down to, to baby size here. I don't want to be the blob. Let's go with the let's go with the rolling. Where is the guy? Changeling. I was going to say, where is he? Oh, I got to use the duh. Um, so yeah, now that we can shrink down, there should be some areas, uh, I might have to look some of them up just to save me some time, um, but I know there's one here for sure, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So if we go over here to this side, dodge these bros, it's a light shifted crab, which is kind of cool. Um, so you can see we get all the way over here, and it's like, oh, we can't go through, we can't get through, how do you do this? Changeling turn into a ball. And now, just like that, we can roll through. And actually, can I even... Okay, I can. I'm just curious if there's something breakable here. Nope. So, you have to stay in ball form for the most part to get through here. Uh, what do we got? We got left or right. One leads to a treasure. A mega potion, which... To me, is screaming big fight up ahead. So, we'll get ready for that. Um, but yeah, I figured, you know what, I want to keep recording episodes, there's these things that we can do and go backtrack whilst I'm determining what we're supposed to do next. Boy, I can sense a very powerful presence in this room. It's a champion monster, but he's even stronger than regular champion monsters, boy. Be prepared. In this chest? No. This is one of those champions where it's like you gotta be around level 40 for it. I'm going, I'm going, let's do this. Vodanoi. Um, little mermaid be looking different, huh? <laughs> um, weak to wind, so I guess you know what? He has fire, water, and wind attacks. So, it's almost like no matter what you do, you're gonna be at a disadvantage. Um, however, Zenyatta's a good pick here. Zenyatta's a really solid pick here because he, um... Uh, The guy doesn't have earth attacks, and Zenyatta's weak to earth. Um, do I do ball lightning right out the gate? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him with the ball lightning right out the gate. I didn't look at his level either, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we're not overstepping our boundaries here. So far, it's okay. What's he gonna do? Aqua Blast? That's gonna hurt a lot. But he went for... Why would he do that? Well, he definitely hits hard, I'll tell you that. He definitely hits hard. Um, I'm gonna power up. Give everybody some points there, and then I'm gonna heal. Which really isn't a lot, honestly, so it's probably like better off not doing that. Uh, I'm gonna Solar Blaze here. Okay, Solar Blaze, eh. Not, not too crazy about the Solar Blaze. But he is putting a lot of stats on us. Hello. Could you not? Yeah, we're in trouble. You have the revive, though. 
Um, oof. I think I'm going to switch Kaka in for Brodor. And then I'm going to heal. Uh, and then I'm going to charge beam. Because we still got to keep doing some damage here. We still got to keep doing some damage. That's going to hurt. Brodor, no. Yeah, Brodor's already knocked out. Are you kidding me? Come on now. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, this is a problem. We might not be strong enough for this. Uh, I already hate this so much. Hang in there, Brodor, please. Um, okay, here's the play then. Uh, Phoenix Serum, Nightlight back. Even if Nightlight doesn't live, uh, then I am going to Phoenix Tear. And then I am going to swap into uh, Big Perp. That's fine. Just don't do that three times in a row, please. Stop, dude. This guy's annoying. Holy crap. It's just hacks. You can't just spam it like that, bro. I mean, at this point, I'm just like, is there is there a point in just... Uh, I thought I clicked the... Yeah, we lose. Yo, that guy is toxic. That guy toxic, bro. That's not even worth... That's not even worthwhile. Like, we, we had a decent start, and then we just got decked. Like, forget that dude. I don't even care. He's not even cool. Yeah, I'm mad. I'm at, I'm at max level, you guys. Yeah, I'm at max level. I'm at max level. Fool. So it's like, why, why am I so able to get decked that hard if, um... If I am max level, how is that still a thing that sh that's allowed to happen? Because you know, it's not like it's not like I'm not trained up. No, I think you have to make like particular teams for that kind of stuff. So I, I talked about it before in like one of these things. So I'll just do a stream in which we try to get all the monsters. Um, so I'm gonna bail on that, but that's an example of little secret monsters that we still gotta fight later on um, so let's just say no to that for right now and we are gonna go ahead and move on with the game even though this game's mean to me even though this game is mean to me hey, there's a light shifted uh, monk that's cool Misa do believe this is the way to go is it the way to go? hello? It's got to be. Yeah, so at the bottom of the blue caves. And actually, you know what? I'm having some forethought from the last time I played this. Alright, here we go. This is the door. Bore out what a strange door. It feels a bit ominous to be standing right in front of it, doesn't it? According to what Eric told us, we need to find the key of power to unlock the abandoned tower where Mardrick is supposed to be hiding. The frozen oracle told us that we needed to explore the lowest area of the sanctuary to find what we're seeking. So perhaps we'll find the key of power in the area that lies behind this door. We have explored the snowy peaks, sun palace, horizon beach, and magma chamber and found a sanctuary token in each of those areas. However, it seems there's a fifth token that we're still missing. Why? Hey, old chubs. You might be surprised. But I've been keeping a close watch on your progress. Mad eyes are quite useful monsters for surveillance purposes. Surveillance purposes. I know that you've collected the four sanctuary tokens hidden throughout the sanctuary. So I take it you believe that the key of power is in the forbidden area behind that door. That area is closed off for a good reason. No ordinary monster keeper should ever set foot on it. I have the fifth sanctuary token which would allow you to open that door. But I'm not sure if I can give it to you. I know that you've already risen to the rank of keeper champion. And I congratulate you for that. You're doing the sanctuary a great service. However, you're still a relatively young keeper. Talented, perhaps, but you may still lack the experience needed to explore such a dangerous area. That is why I will test your skills as a monster keeper by challenging you to a duel. If you win, you shall have my sanctuary token. Why don't we come far enough to be able to compete with the, dra the Keeper Dragoon, Eric? Let's take him on. Let's see if you can handle real combat. Ooh! <laughs> Those are some monsters right there. That's a team and a half. Alright, I'm bringing these two at nightlight. Let's go. 
and I am leading off with a thousand leaves. Turn one, one thousand leaves. Is someone honking a horn right now? I swear. Not while I'm doing a video, please. Or is that the game? I don't know. I got neighbors that honk their horns all the time because they have to announce their presence. But okay, I think we're off to a solid start. That's going to tickle, but we have shield. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, bro, we're fine. We're chilling. Um, I'm going to ask the Tempest again. Get rid of some of those buffs he put on, on himself. And then I think I'm going to shielding leaves here. Yeah. And then I'm going to Solar Blaze. Ultimate. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Miracle level 3. This is weird, though. I kind of... I'm not going to lie, guys. I kind of forgot about Eric. Alright. Kind of forgot about Eric. Uh, last time I saw him... Or last time we saw him, I should say, I believe that we were hanging out in the... I'm going to Master Story get rid of those debuffs. Um, but last time I saw him, I think that we were hanging out in the Keeper Stronghold to interrogate alchemists. And then, boom, he just shows up. Like, how do you do? And it's like, I don't know how do you do. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, this guy's pretty strong, I gotta say. He can't, he's not doing a lot to us, but we're not doing a lot back. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know what the move is right now. I guess I could try to gang up on the the bro here in the, in the front. Take him on first, maybe. Yeah, really soften him up for the finishing blow. There we go. One down, dude. Full utility. Uh-oh. But Brodor's already out and gaining age stacks. And Brodor is good against those guys. So it should be pretty good. Hey now, hey now. That there is cheating. That there is cheating. See, I need Brodor to attack right now, but... Um, you know what? You know what? Let's have let's have you restore yourself. Restore level three. Get rid of those debuffs. You can go ahead and acid tempest everybody to get rid of some more debuffs. Or get rid, rid of buffs and give debuffs. And then Brodor's gonna come in here with the Actually Shielding Leaves takes him out, so let's go for that first. Because then Brodor gets some gets some heals. Nice. But now we also have to fight a night lane. Nightlight versus Nightlight! -na 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 -na. <laughs> this will be wild, though. I don't... I don't know. Based on, like, how things are going, we're not getting swept. We're not getting swept, and so I'm like... I'm just kind of chilling. I think that we're going to win this fight pretty effortlessly. I could be wrong though. He could he could whip out some crazy monster that that guy in the back maybe who is the evolved form of a dragon, I believe. He could just crack it open and we get cracked. I'm actually going to earthquake here. Brodor just does a lot of damage and I think that we can just bring it again. Cuz if he if he earthquakes this with the same combo right now, they all go down. So I think that's the move. I just take them all out at once. And then it's just the dragon left. And then I don't have to <laughs> worry about anything. This might tickle a little bit, but... For the most part, I mean, we're fine. We are fine. I'm actually going to Solar Burst here just to get some combo. And then I'm going to Acid Tempest again for the combo. And to get rid of some buffs. And then Earthquake. And everyone should go down. Ah, so close. So close. But, I mean, he goes down to fire? Ooh, so close. Mud cannon, though. But, yeah, it's down to two. So, honestly, this was one of the easier, like, story mode, like, boss fights. 
that if you're not ready for it, whoa. 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 <laughs> Hold the phone. You can't do that to me that there's cheating. Is Brodor just a god? Like, Brodor is walling this man's team right now. I'm gonna solar burst. And then solar burst. I'm just trying to get rid of the Ninky Naka at this point. There you go. Fire claws. Dude, Brodor cannot be tamed, I'm telling you. Brodor cannot be tamed. You can't stop this boy. He's too powerful. I shouldn't use that. I should use the other one. Ah, oh, but that's okay, though. So does that make us a Dragon Dragoon or whatever? A Keeper Dragoon? Obtain a reward box level 3? You have become a very capable monster keeper in a short span of time. Who knows what potential you have? I shall keep a close eye on you in the future, but for now, here is the Sanctuary Token, as promised. What? We did it! So now we have all the Sanctuary Tokens and we can finally uncover this forbidden area. Why is someone... I guess orange is kind of like reddish. Ooh. I wish you good luck as you traverse the forbidden area. You shouldn't need my help, so I'll follow up on a different lead. However, I'm sure that we will meet again soon. We're probably the first in at least a hundred years or so to pass through this door. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Hello. Where are we going? The Underworld. Yo. The Underworld. Home of darkness. Home of death. Home of wonderful things. I wish they would just keep that music playing instead of this one. I'm not gonna lie. Mega Rock. Alright, guys. Level 37. But you know what? I'm here for it. I have to do this fight for one particular reason. You don't have to watch it. I'll skip right through it. No big deal. There's just a reason. I gotta, I gotta try something. Give me one second. Okay, we didn't... We did get the evolutionary item, you guys. Um... Yeah, there, there's, uh, I guess I kind of gave it away, but we did get one of these guys. A dark shifted Argeo? And I'm gonna call it. Argepider. Uh, because I can. I feel like his ability is just gonna be the grapple. Yeah, grappling anchor. However, um, once I find that item, you guys, like, it, it's gonna be lit, and I really want to. Hello. What? Oh yes, the underworld. What? Now I remember. I've been here before with one of your ancestors centuries ago. What? It's hard to forget a place like this. But I still those distant memories are like a blur to me, so my ad only advice is be careful. Blah. Leonard and Julia. Leonard, Julia, blah. what are you doing here? Oh, uh oh, -huh, uh -huh. I could ask the same of you. How did you get inside here? Seems like Chubb's found all the sanctuary tokens from all across the monster sanctuary Starbucks's and opened the door to the underworld. Hmm, if I had known that those tokens were important, I would have gotten them ages ago. Anyway, Eric actually let us know about everything, that you opened the door and that the key of power might be here, and unlocks the ultimate Starbucks. So <laughs> it only made sense for us to come here as well. I don't know about Will, though. Maybe Eric's message didn't reach him? Never mind him. The three of us should be able to find that key. Perhaps we shall make it a contest. Whoever finds the key of power first is the winner. Why does everything have to be a competition with you? Because you can't get over the fact that Chubb saved us during that treasure hunt at Horizon Beach. Nonsense! Competition is just the best way to grow as a monster keeper, that's all. Anyway, the rules of our contest should be clear, so let's not dally any longer. Hmm. Well, now that they mentioned it, you kind of were the winner from our last contest at the beach. Let's see who'll win this time. Can I go find Starbucks real quick, though? What? Seems like they're more scared of losing to us than our surroundings. Bravery and, and a keen eye should lead us to the key of power as well as victory to this contest. I want to go up there real quick, bro. I want to go up top real quick. I want to explore. Because there are more important things on my plate right now. 
in my brain, in my noodle, in my noggin, in my doodle. That's not what I wanted. Keep your peanut, fool. I'm allergic. Keep your steel, fool. I'm allergic. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I'm sure there may be someone out there that has an allergy to, like, metal. Hello. Mocus? Mucus? Mocus? Gross, gross, grossus. I'll tell you, that's what that is. Um, okay, so we are just going to go all out with the fire again. And, uh, yeah, I am, I'm going to cut when this one's done, too. Okay, again, we're getting close, but we didn't get it. We got a rocky egg, which is not what we need. Um, but real quick, though, because I'm pretty sure you can only get this here, the thing that I'm looking for. Um, let me look at Catalyst real quick. Magical clay, silver feather. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that we don't have it yet. So I will keep hunting. Uh, and then show you guys anything story related, story driven. So I'll keep going. Okay, you guys, we did it. We got the idol. Let's go. Didn't take about that long. And we got a dark rocky egg. That's intriguing. Okay, so uh, give me one more minute. I know I, I'm skipping a lot for you guys, but I will be right back. All right, you guys, we're here at the Tree of Evolution in the Ancient Woods. Real quick, though, I do just want to hatch this dark shifted Rocky that we got. Look at him, the darkness boy. Um, we have Brodor. I'm, I'm going to call this thing... Um, Minor rock, minor rock. I don't know. Anyway, the time is now. Present a catalyst of the tree of evolution. Change form one of your monsters. Giant seed on Brodor. Brodor's here. He is now in his perfect form. Oh, I've been waiting for this for the entirety of the game, dude. All right, let me let me align all of his slots. Let me give him all of his. Uh, all of his move sets real quick and then we'll uh, we'll move forward okay Brodor is here he's good to go uh, let's do this let's do this let's do this I'm excited I am ready you guys I've been wanting Brodor to reach his full potential for so long for so long and now he's here so now we actually do get to run shop through the underworld I just want to know why a little bro like him, like why why was Brodor's, you know, his ancestors hanging out in the underworld? Are they are they watching over the underworld? Are they guarding something? Like, cause they don't look like they belong in the underworld. Those uh, those spider dudes and the pig things, those things, yes, absolutely belong here in the underworld. But also the fact that we're in the underworld, like bro. Yeah, I love just those golem type characters. Ah, uh, and it's just so cool. It's just so cool. Yeah, those pig things definitely belong here. Ow, 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 ow. I can't look at It's fam. I'll just smoke bomb. It's fine. I don't want to deal with it. Um, so one of the things that Brodor is creates a big rock obstacle and activates ground switches. So now with Brodor, does he have to? Yeah, so he has to do this and activate the switch. And then we get a needle plus five. But yeah, there's some areas in, like, former areas. Uh oh Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, but there are areas in the... In, the, in the, Back in the other areas of the sanctuary in which there were big structures like that that we couldn't activate. Like, one of them is in the, uh, the stronghold. That we'll have to activate at some point. Hello, sir. Hello. I don't want to fight you right now. Cool looking, but let's not and say we did. Um. Wow. Wow. This place is pretty big. I, I can't say I know all the way. <laughs> Look at Brodor, dude. He's got arms now, dude. Good for him. He's got arms now, dude. Okay. Okay. We'll take on this Arachalic. And they're okay. Okay, we'll we'll give Brodor a little a little test run. You guys get to see Brodor in action. His ultimate meteor shower seems pretty cool, although he doesn't have enough mana for it, which is kind of uh, intriguing. I'm gonna forge then and get some shield. He 
doesn't have enough mana for it. But yeah, I opted for Bro uh, for Brodor to still have a pretty similar moveset to what he has now. It's just a lot of his um, a lot of his abilities and stuff changed. Like he now has two of the elemental punches, fire and lightning. So it's like okay, he's he's definitely more offensive than he was before, um, which is fine. Totally fine. We're here for it. That hurt a lot. I don't approve of that. Can you do your? You still can't meteor shower, bro. Come on, bro. I need you to meteor shower. I guess I'll channel. Because I'm trying to, like, not use up all the mana. <laughs> and then I'll fire shield. Yeah. And then I'll solar blaze. But yeah, his ult meteor shower drops, like, a meteor on everybody. And it shields us. So it's, like, it sounds really cool. And I want to try it. I want to try it. Let me do it. Okay, now now does he have enough? He does. Let's go. Ultimate Meteor Shower. It does do a lot of damage. It does do a lot of damage. Was it 100% worth it? I don't know. But it was cool. I gotta give you that much. It was a cool looking attack. It was a cool looking attack. Alright, let's get rid of that Arachalic. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah. Alright. So that's pretty cool. I really do like Brodor, man. The fact that now he has reached his full potential is just like, let's go. <laughs> Look at him. Dun, 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 dun. I love it. I love it. He's so big and powerful and cool. The child in me is just like, eee. Eee. Die to fire. Let's go. I got places to be, man. This episode's gone on too long. I need to end the episode. Let me end the episode. Yeah, Brodor, take us home. Nice. Cool, cool. A banana and a level badge. Okay then, ladies and gents. That is our... I mean, this episode's literally gonna be called, like, Brodor's debut, because, like, he has been chilling with us for the entire time, and he finally got to evolve. He's been with us since, like, the very beginning. I'm so happy he's here. And what better way to end it off? We got into the underworld. He had an amazing fight against the Keeper Dragoon. And we're here. Eric, that was his name. I was a Keeper Dragoon. What's his name? <laughs> But yeah, in the next episode, we'll keep exploring the underworld and all of its eeriness and see what secrets are to be held down here. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys. Have a wonderful day. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. You'll be notified when the next video goes up right away. And with that, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Have a good one. See you guys.